Hey DIYers, George from Alarm Grid here. I'm going to be going over the programming of account information in an L5210 today. So first of all, this is, as you see, an L7000. Uh, it's the same exact screens that you're going to be seeing on an L5210. We just don't have one up on this wall. Uh, the only difference between this panel and the L5210 is the screen size. So everything you see that I'm going to be doing on this panel is going to be the same for the L5210, all right? So uh, again, we're going over programming the account information in an L5210. This is something that normally end users do not do. The account information is what allows the panel to communicate to your alarm company's central station. Um, it's gonna have your city, sub ID, and account number. So that is normally stuff that your alarm company will set up for you. Now typically, the only time you have to edit this information manually at the panel is whenever you're doing a takeover and the communicator hasn't been released by the panel. So what I mean by that is these systems typically have Wi-Fi or cellular communicators. Uh, whenever you're looking at switching companies, sometimes you're, it takes a little bit for your previous company to release the communicators, meaning that they no longer have a hold on it and the new company can go into the Honeywell Residio servers actually now and they could um, activate the communicator for you. Now, I'd say about 90% of the time that is the case. The communicator is released, the alarm company that you're switching to can go in, they can activate everything remotely without you ever having to touch the panel. However, however, there are times where you may need to manually go in there and switch that information on your own. And that's what I'm gonna show you guys how to do today. Now, we usually recommend doing this while you're on the phone with a, a technician since they're gonna be the ones that have the city ID, sub ID, and account number. They don't really give that information out. They usually just do it with you over the phone so you can enter it in at the panel as we're walking you through it. So. The first thing we're going to do to get to the account information is we need to get into programming. So on your L5210, uh, if you're on the main screen, you're going to hit security. You're going to hit the more option in the bottom right hand corner. And then you're going to hit tools. Now when you hit tools, it's going to ask you for a code. You need your installer code for this. Mine is defaulted at 44112. Yours may be different if you or your company has changed it, so just something to keep in mind. Um, after you enter in your correct installer code, you should be taken to this screen. If you're taken to a different screen that says users, tests, events, and stuff like that, that means you're using your master code, and there's a big difference between master code and installer code. Master code you use to arm the system and change user codes. Installer code you use to go in and program the panel settings, zones, account information, reporting, all of that different, all of those different things. So after we're in this screen, we're going to hit program and then I'm gonna make my way over to communicator now this account is already active which is why you can actually see here 5010 this is our account information if you're being monitored with another company you may see different things in here so at that point in time if there is information in there what we as an alarm company would do is walk you through field by field and show you how to change it so we'd go in We'd hit clear. I'm not going to change anything here, but you can go in, clear out, enter in the new information, and then if you do change anything, like let's say I change APL, it'll say save in the bottom right-hand corner. So I'm just going to switch it back to disabled. I'm going to hit the back arrow key, update in root file. I'm going to hit OK. And uh, I'm just going to hit the back arrow key all the way out. Now, one important thing when you guys are exiting programming, there's going to be a screen that says, do you want to allow the installer to re-enter programming? It's always important that you guys say yes. If you guys say no, what happens is when you guys try to go back into programming, it's not going to let you. It's going to lock you out. Then if you do that, you then have to do a backdoor programming method, redo the process and say yes so the panel refreshes. Now. That account information in there, every account is going to be different for every customer. That's why whenever, if you're going to be changing any account information, we recommend waiting until you get us on the phone so we can walk you through what to enter in. Again, this is only for whenever uh, an alarm company hasn't released your communicator and you need to switch to the other company right away. We can go in, manually change those fields 
and then register it from the panel so it goes directly to us. Normally, like I said, 90% of the time, we can actually activate the communicator remotely and send down all that account information without you ever having to do anything. It's only if the communicators haven't been released. If you guys have any other questions about how to change your account information, feel free to send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found the video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and enable the notifications so when we upload new content, you guys get notified. I'm George, and I'll see you guys next time.